Hi, I'm Joe Smiles from Fat Loss SOS and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe, hit the like button, make as many comments as you want, hit the notification bell, hit the all uh, option and then you'll get all my uh, videos. Um, I run an online fat loss SOS course. It um, helps you keep fat off for life. It chain creates a your fat gaining situations and turns them into fat losing situations. It's a no diet psychological mindset course that focuses on neuroscience and nutrition. Everybody's 50, over 50% of people are on fad diets and they don't work, they're unsustainable, they're unrealistic. We've got to get away from this diet and food centric model of fat, of, of weight loss and move towards a model of a habits, behavior, cognitive and lifestyle techniques model of long-term permanent fat loss. My channel promotes drug-free training, health and fitness education. Uh, I'm gonna critique today Eddie Abu and Dr. Paul Saladino, two social media influencers that are spreading massive information, especially about sugar. Um, I'm not attacking the men personally, but I'm gonna attack their misinformation, their false claims and their views and give factual information and correct knowledge. Eddie Abu is um, one of the UK's most successful bodybuilders. He's an IFBB pro. He got, he's got 260,000 followers on his Instagram page. He believes sugar is really bad for you and you shouldn't eat any of it and it makes you fat. Let's have a look at so some of his clips. Here's why you shouldn't eat fruit if you're trying to lose body fat. If you're trying to lose body fat, it means that you're carrying unwanted body fat. That means you are insulin resistant. And if you're insulin resistant, resistant it means your cells are not relating very well to your insulin. There's no evidence that um, sugar causes insulin resistance or that, it, or that you shouldn't eat fruit or that sugar causes insulin resistance or makes you fat. Let's have a listen to another clip. Is that your liver gets clogged up and when your liver gets clogged up, that in itself can also cause insulin resistance. Okay, so he's saying that th this is simply not true. There's no evidence that fructose clogs up your liver and some fructose gets stored as glycogen in the liver and muscles, but so does sucrose, which is simple table sugar and glucose. Uh, also fruits are healthy. They contain lots of fiber. They fill you up, they're low in calories. They're high in vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. Plus fruit uh, contains other sugars, like I've said, glucose and sucrose. And the fiber slows down the absorption of the sugar. So uh, it helps to regulate blood sugar levels. So they're not, eating sugar is not a threat for obese people, people with meta met metabolic problems or people with type two diabetes. I think Eddie's basically getting confused with high fructose corn syrup which is a man-made sweetener and it's found in junk foods and in large amounts in in junk food um, it is linked to various health problems such as cardiovascular disease type 2 diabetes heart disease and non-fatty uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease but um, still if you over consume calories then you'll start getting those problems. You can probably have some high fructose corn syrup and it won't make any difference whatsoever. Let's have a look at another one of Eddie's videos. Okay, this is why you should stop eating sugar. Sugar is S-H-I-T. Let's have a listen. Thing. Sugar is one of the worst things for us. Sugar is something, one thing that is killing all of us. Obesity, type two diabetes, arterial cirrhosis, and we talk about um, strokes, um, all these conditions, all these metabolic um, illnesses or symptoms, syndrome, are uh, as a result of processed foods and especially sugar. Okay, there's no evidence that sugar causes strokes, atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease and all the other things. He says that you shouldn't have any sugar. Even if you cut out all sugar in your life, your body will still make ketones which will be turning protein and fat into sugar so it will do everything it can to have sugar. Um, there's no evidence that, that sugar causes obesity epidemic or that it's bad for you or that it's poison so I don't know what he's talking about. Let's have a look at some studies. Okay st 
study one entitled Declining Consumption of Added Sugars and Sugar Sweetened Beverages in Australia, a Challenge for Obesity Prevention, 2017 study. It showed that sugar consumption rates have fallen 16% between 1980 to 2011 and 20% from 1995 to 2012 and added sugars intakes from carbonated soft drinks fell 26% between 1997 and 2011, yet obesity is on a very sharp rise. Study 2 entitled Reductions in Sugar Sales from Soft Drinks in the UK from 2015 to 2018, and this is a 2020 study, so pretty brand new, and it shows that between 2015 and 2018, Soft drinks and sugar, overall sugar consumption fell by 30%, yet obesity is still sharply on the rise. And study three entitled Prevalence of Obesity, o Prevalence of Overweight Obesity, Severe Obesity in Adults Over 20 in the USA between 1960 through to 2018, and this is a 2021 study, showed that almost 50% of adult uh, Americans have obesity, and it's risen from obesity being 10% in 1960 to, to 45% in 2018. So as you can see, sugar is on the decrease, but obesity since 2060 has risen by 40, 45%. And study four entitled Scientific Advisory Committee on Carbohydrates and Health 2015. It's a massive document on, on carbs and sugar. I've been through the whole thing many times before with clients and people consulting online. It shows that there's no evidence that diets high in carbs causes weight gain. There's no associations between carbs and cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes. There's no evidence that it that refined sugars causes diabetes and there's strong evidence that um, high fiber lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease, colorectal cancer, lowers cholesterol, lowers your low density lipoprotein cholesterol which is your bad cholesterol and it also lowers your triglycerides which is your fat and your fatty acids. Okay, let's look at study number five entitled Consumption of Sugar Sweetened Beverages from 1999 to 2014 from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey and this is from the CDC, the Center of Disease Control USA and it shows that sugar consumption has dramatically reduced from 1999 to 2014. You can see on the graph that it's dramatically reduced. And study six entitled Consumption of Oils from 2000 to 2017 from, again, from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, the Center of Disease Control USA shows that butter and particularly cooking oil consumption has vastly increased over the last 10 years. So consumption of fat has increased and the consumption of sugar has dramatically decreased since the 1950s and 60s. And people are still getting fatter and fatter and fatter. 